Hello teachers, this is Risha from 5W English Every Day and I'm here with one more video on our series about mindset and motivation for teachers. And one question that I've been thinking about is how do our students perceive us? Do they perceive us as people who are friendly and who are really interested in their lives or someone who just wants to get the job done? <laughs> and that's been one of my uh, desires as a teacher and as I also help other teachers, I always want them to get that connection with the student. And I was thinking about what are some of the things that we do that we can do to connect with our students. And um, I don't know if you've ever heard this book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. There's this book here in Portuguese, Como Fazer Amigos e Influenciar Pessoas from Dale Carnegie. And he has some really interesting topics. Um, one of the titles in one of his chapters is How to Make People Like You. Now, I wanted to do a little different twist on that. It's not really how to make other people like you, but how to become a more friendly teacher. And he has six steps that he talks about. And today I want to talk to you about three of those steps. So the first step is become genuinely interested in, in other people's lives, in, in our case, in our students' lives. So you know how sometimes people want to tell stories and they always tell stories about themselves and they'll tell you, oh yeah, and if you mention to them, yeah, I went to this um, nice beach and we had a really good time with my family. Oh yeah, I went to this amazing beach and it was so good. Or it could even be, oh, today is so hot. Oh, you should have seen yesterday or you should have seen here last year. Or it could even be about bad things. I don't know if you've noticed that. Like, yeah, I broke my foot and yeah, I broke my whole leg. <laughs> like, there's this like competition for telling stories and we tend to tell stories about ourselves. And as a teacher, it's important that we be careful and guarded about um, how much we want to talk about ourselves and instead focus on our students and the things that they like to talk about and their hobbies. And you know, when we do that, um, they feel a, a greater connection to us because they feel like, wow, this person really likes me. They really want to know about my life. And I mean in a genuine way. I don't mean just like, oh, I got to ask those questions to make sure that my students feel this from me. But I mean, really genuinely be interested and, and want to know about your students' hobbies, their likes, their dislikes. And when we show this kind of interest, it, it makes us become a more genuine person, a more real teacher. Another thing is about a smile. He mentions that we should smile. And you know how a smile just melts your face? You're like this serious you know, concentrated, sometimes you're focused in your class and if you smile, it just brightens up your face. Uh, I was just uh, mentioning, my sister just posted something on Instagram saying, give it, just giving a smile. She said, you know how sometimes people say they don't see smiles and so here you are, here's your smile. And she also mentioned how she works in a coffee shop and, and she loves to smile. She has a beautiful smile. And uh, she said, it's funny how many people tell her, you know, that's the first smile I've had today. So can you imagine what, how powerful that could be for us as teachers to smile at our students, to make them feel comfortable, to melt that tension of maybe, oh, they're asking a question I don't really know how to understand, or am I going to be able to do this right? Am I learning enough? Or they're feeling a little insecure, and our smile can help them feel much more comfortable. And the third thing is, Use your student's name, mention their name, call them by name. You know, there's nothing more sweet than hearing our name. It's like music to our ears when we hear our name. I remember um, there was a store in my town and there was a really good salesman. He always called people by their names. And I went there with my teenage daughter. We were looking for pants and he kept saying, so Emily, so Emily, and what about this Emily, and what do you think of this Emily? And I was so enchanted by the way he was treating my daughter that I actually bought a pair of pants without checking the price before I actually went to pay for it. Can you, you can see how it connected to me in such a way that I just bought the pants. I was so excited about it. Can you imagine if when you use your students' names, 
that your students feel so connected to you that they accept your suggestions, they want to follow your instructions, they want to work harder, they want to practice more to learn. So those are really simple steps that we can take uh, to become this friendly and approachable teacher. And I hope this really helped you as it always seems to inspire me. Bye-bye.